guys I welcome you all in my channel once again and today I am going to tell you about the communication cycle and what is the basic difference between communication cycle and communication process as I was getting several requests to create one video specially on this topic so today I decided to create it and let's move to the topic So basically this is the diagram of communication cycle and as we all know that communication process is a continuous process and for communication process we need at least two parties that is the sender and the receiver. So in this process sender is the person who is desirous to pass some kind of information to the receiver so whatever the information he is having in his mind or whatever the message he is having in his mind is always present in a scattered form so it is necessary to construct those scattered ideas into a meaningful sentence so that the receiver could understand it properly and the process of constructing those scattered ideas into a meaningful sentence is known as encoding. So this is the part or this is the role of a sender and after encoding the message, the message is being transferred through a channel. Basically channel are of two types that is a natural channel or artificial channel if we talk about the natural channel then uh, in natural channel we have our five senses and the body language and if we talk about the artificial channel then it can be electronic or non-electronic as like uh, telephone internet uh, if we talk about non-electronic then it can be any uh, whiteboard uh, sorry a notice board or any kind of tra uh, traffic signal these are non electrical channels and with the help of these channels the message is transferred to the receiver so after receiving the message the receiver decodes it to get understand what uh, what the message is being transferred by the sender so basically we can say that decoding is a process of translating or interpreting the message which is being transferred by the sender for example if someone say ram is going so we easily understand that ram ja raha hai so what we did here that we have translated it into our mother tongue that ram is going means ram ja raha hai and then we get it understand properly and the same thing the receiver does in communication cycle he also translate it or interpret it into its mother tongue so so get to get uh, understand whatever the message is being transferred by the sender so after receiving the message and after decoding it the receiver gives the feedback to the sender and feedback uh, is the response which is being given by the receiver so this process continues and this is a continuous process that's why it is said that communication process is a never ending process in the world of human being or animal or, or plants now uh, the basic uh, difference between the communication cycle and communication process is that communication cycle is the pictorial representation and the com uh, communication process is the theoretical concept so whatever we have discussed here we have to write in a paragraph form all these things in communication process so if the question comes what do you mean by communication process so we have to define the entire process in a paragraph form and whatever the names you can see here are the elements of communication cycle so the question may come that 
draw the communication cycle and define its element so in that case you have to draw this communication cycle and uh, I have given the definitions in uh, I will give you in this video so you have to write after drawing this picture you have to write all the definitions and if the question comes that what do you mean by communication process in that case we have to write it in a theoretical we have to write the theoretical concept which will be present in a paragraph form so as I have written here that com communication is a dynamic process in which the sender transmits the message through a proper channel to the receiver who in turn gives the feedback in the form of message or signal within the given time frame so whatever we have discussed in the communication cycle we have to write it in paragraph form and as I was talking about the elements the definitions of the element so I have given it in the next slide so this is the uh, definition of all the elements so if the question comes that what do you mean by communication process so we have to write all, all these and we have to write that there are seven elements of communication process and they are these all seven you have to define all the elements also so you can write it all the definitions and the notes which I have given here and thank you very much for watching the video I hope you have understand the concept very easily so if you like it then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends so thank you very much